Hi there, in this short video I'm going to show you how to run or emulate the Raspberry Pi OS on Windows. So the easiest way to get started with this is to navigate to sourceforge.net who actually have a nice package that you can just download and install and then run. So I'm just going to copy and paste this link into my Firefox window here. I'll post this link below so you can do the same. So it is sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash or pi kimu windows. Okay, so once you navigate into the page, you just need to click download here. And we'll see here, it should start downloading for us now in a second. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just going to save this file down and while it's doing that, I am going to pause this video so don't waste anyone's time and we can see it's downloading here. So I'll pause for a minute. Okay, great. This is downloaded for me now. I can see it here. So I'm just going to pull over my downloads folder here and what you should see is a folder called Kimu that's zipped. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to put it on my C drive. So I'll paste this here and I'll click continue. Okay, perfect. And next thing I'm going to do is unzip it. So I'm just going to extract all and I'm just going to extract it to the C drive as well. Okay, so this will now run and we'll extract the files. I'll pause here again for a moment. Okay, once the packets have finished extracting, you can now see a Kimu folder. So I'm going to enter this folder and I'm simply going to double click this run. Okay, so now hopefully we should see the Raspberry Pi is beginning to boot up. So I just have it here and we can see it's booting up. So I'll just pause here again while it boots up. Okay, once uh, Raspbian Raspberry Pi has gone through the boot up process for the first time, you'll be showing some config options. Here, I'm just going to leave all these as the default. So you just need to tab over and click finish. Okay, so now you see it's prompting us to type in start x to launch a graphical session. So let's do that. Okay, so we can see now that the Raspberry Pi should hopefully now boot up into the GUI. I'll pause here for a moment while the boots into the GUI and if you need to come out of this window you need to press Ctrl and Alt. Okay and we can see that we have our Raspberry GUI here. You can even expand the window out a bit to make it a little bigger and you can work away and do any Raspberry Pi projects within this window. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions be sure to comment below.